Ta'ala, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. Uh, the beloved people that are tuned in from many, many nations and also tuned in from all over this nation, all over the region, all over Africa, and then all over the world, uh, all over Kenya, in their biggest millions at this hour. The Lord Jehovah today, this night, has spoken with me in a very, very shocking manner, in a very tremendous way. And I would like to share with you on this day, this uh, this Thursday, 19th day of October, the year 2017. Again, on this Thursday, 19th of October, the year 2000. And 17, the Lord Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Yahweh, the Lord my sender, he has sent me, the Lord the eternal King, he has spoken with me and sent me to speak with you at this hour. And uh, I had a meeting in the office today with a few bishops. And at that meeting, I fell asleep on the chair. When I fell asleep on the chair right in front of those bishops before them, and uh, the Lord spoke with me in a very astounding and shocking manner, and he took me out of that meeting and put me at a place, and where he lifted me, he then spoke by voice, he said, at one word, now look, you have the power to shut down the entire universe. At one word, now look, you have the power to shut down the entire universe. Then I remember that I spoke one word. And at that one word, in that tremendous vision, then all of a sudden, darkness smashed through the entire universe. So I was on the light side, there was light. Then all of a sudden, absolute darkness consumed the earth and some other planets. But the way the Lord had lifted me, the earth was like a round ball next to my left leg where I was standing. So the earth, the planet earth, next to my left leg, uh, the next to the foot, but a little bit to ahead, like two, in, uh, in, in the context of this realm, the earth, like two or three feet from me, I could see the earth, but entire darkness consumed the entire earth and some other planets, many other planets, so there were two demarcations. Uh, I moved from light to darkness. That means all of a sudden the universe was plunged into darkness and then the earth was totally plunged into darkness. So this night the Lord has spoken with me in a very, very shocking manner in a way that really defines the weight and the gravity of the time that the church has stumbled into again the Lord said that one word, now I have the power to shut down the entire universe. Then I remember I spoke one word from where he lifted me up, and then I saw darkness smash, plunge. The whole, many, many planets were plunged into darkness, and the sun was no more at that place. And uh, the earth was now plunged into darkness. So where I was, the light then all of a sudden plunged into darkness. It was the most shocking moment to behold, a very stunning moment in the history of this planet and in the history of the universe created by Jehovah. And we see very clearly that uh, there is a tremendous escalation. There is a prophetic acceleration that is on right now. Uh, this comes right on the face of 
the recent collision of two neutron stars that I prophesied on 7th of October, the year 2007. When I said they would come with white rays of light like the stars and smash, and then they would now explode, and that explosion would mushroom like a nuclear explosion, explosion, exploding out but not pouring, and then eventually flames of heat. And you see exact details that played out. However, as the Lord took me to get involved in that event at that time, it was right in the proximity, only that now we realized that the light emitted that the Lord was involving me in on that event before the prophecy was given constitutes more than 10 billion suns. So these are the mysteries of the Lord Jehovah. However, now on this 19th day of October, the year 2017, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me this night about a tremendous moment that is going to befall the earth. I have seen it, I have spoken the word, and I've seen darkness plunge. The, 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 the whole the few planets, the whole earth, first of all, is plunged into unbelievable darkness. And I don't know for how long the darkness consumes the earth, whether it's for 24 hours, 12 hours, days, I do not know. But plunges into darkness. Then I see a planet next to me. When I checked, I saw it was the earth right next to my foot on this side. So these are the big events that are coming. And the book of Joel chapter 2, verse 30, he says, I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and billows of smoke. Verse 31 of Joel chapter 2, he says, The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. The sun will be turned to darkness. I have seen this event. I know that when John the Baptist spoke with me before the throne of God on the 2nd of April, the year 2004, when the Lord has sent John the Baptist to speak with me and to engage me, and then he walked around, turned around, and he came and disappeared here on he that speaks with you. At that time, before the throne of God, one of the big signs that happened before the throne was the moon turned blood. It really turned blood. And it was a tremendous moment to behold. And we know that that moment has taken place. The moon has become blood. But he says here in verse 31 that the sun would be turned to darkness. Now this I have seen and is going to happen. He said that one word and I spoke the word that shut down the sun, and then total darkness covered the whole earth. But I see as though other planets also are plunged into darkness. So these are the tremendous times we live in, beloved people. And those that are wise, they now begin to understand that time is winding down. Time is fast running out for the coming of the Messiah. And the Lord is speaking very clearly that this is the hour at which to speed up because of the prophetic acceleration. This is the time to speed up now the process of preparing the nations on the earth. And looking at next year's calendar, our calendar is going to be quite busy for next year. All nations that are interested in having meetings, these pronouncements brought into your land, this revival visit you, this is the time to write. You write when you're a pastor. You write at repent office at gmail.com, and then the title should be invitation. And then in that way, we can agenda you, we can uh, calendar you into the program, because it looks like there's a prophetic acceleration, and the whole of next year is going to be dedicated to very, very intensive visitation in many nations. This is the hour when that calendar is being drawn, because I have seen that even in the face of the collision and explosion, this shocking impossibility, which I mentioned in the prophecy as an impossibility. I said it's an impossibility. 
in this realm, but it must take place because I have spoken it now. The words of my tongue have spoken it now, and it came to pass. But now we see that darkness is coming. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. So the sun will be turned to darkness. I have seen this event. The Lord has led me to instruct this event and to command it into being. So this is going to be a very exciting time in the history of the church when now all of a sudden all other religions have been rubbished, all other gods have been rubbished, only Jehovah, the holy God of Israel, will now be worshipped. Idol worship will come to an end. The Lord is smashing idol worship because he's establishing that only the Lord is God Almighty that reigns and created all the universe and the planets and the lives therein. And he alone has the preserve of power and authority to do with them as he so wills to worship him. I have seen at one word that I spoke, and the sun turned into darkness, and the earth was plunged into darkness. It was a shocking moment. There was great fear that gripped the entire earth, and many nations were in tremendous panic. But for us as Christians, the believers, you that I have come to prepare for the coming, the glorious coming of Jesus, the Lord's Christ, the Messiah, that is the moment to celebrate because the Messiah is coming. May those who have ears turn away from sexual sin, turn away from lies, turn away from false prophecy, run away from those churches where false apostles, false prophets are preaching falsehood. This is the moment to run away. You rather set up a holy church by yourself and the Spirit of the Lord help you than to continue feeding on sewer, drinking sewer water from the false prophets, the false apostles, false evangelists, teachers of prosperity. This is the hour to make serious, substantive decisions on your eternity. I have seen the Messiah coming. I have seen the earth now plunge into darkness. The Lord said that one word, and I spoke one word, that instructed and commanded the sun to turn into darkness. And this will be one of the greatest wonders ever since the earth was created. The Messiah is coming. Shalom Haverim. Shalom, shalom. Erev Tov.